Where are you from, Chuck? St. Louis, right here. St. Louis? Right. Yeah. When did you start appearing or performing professionally? The Music? Yeah. Oh, that was uh, <laughs> uh, in 55 professionally, in about 51, I suppose. I first picked up the guitar. Mm. The uh, body of the hits I had in 58 and 7, you know, the school days are all over Beethoven's, Johnny B. Goods and things, they really begin to have the impact in about 60, around 59, 60. Who influenced your particular style of music? Uh, Nat Cole is one of my favorites, and Glenn Miller, believe it or not, is before everybody's time, but not before mine, you know, <laughs> Glenn Miller, because these swing bands of the uh, late 40s was when I was uh, in school myself. And, uh, you know, I really like boogie, you know. We were jitterbugging then, but still boogieing, you know. What do you think contributed to your success and originality as a super rock star? I suppose it'd be all these um, uh, entities put together. Uh, for instance, uh, my duck uh, walk, as it's been named, uh, the lyrics, uh, not leaving out my management of myself, which is another phase. The ability to cope with the fast life that show business brings. In other words, not getting into narcotics or, or, or drinking or what have you. And uh, a few other little minor vices that could have grown to be big ones, you know? What did you think about the taste of Dr. Pepper? It was dynamite, man. Would you please give me that Dr. Pepper now? One, two, three. <laughs> Join! 